See, Scott FM, again, Alan, was Scotland's finest radio hour. They had it absolutely right. And then along come people wanting to change it. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I don't listen to it. I mean, I listen to Smooth Radio now, you know what I mean? But well, you see, Smooth Radio is actually the next incarnation of... Uh, oh, no, it's not the next incarnation. Heart Radio was the next incarnation of Scott FM. I have Scotland, we went for it. Have Scotland broadcast to London to English presenters. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, that's right, you see. You need to you see. This was all Scottish voices. And I think also there would have been a bit of a panic politically because that Scott FM, had it still been existing, would make Scotland very powerful because it would have its I mean, own I mean, media. I mean, I mean, is there any, I mean, is there any Scottish stations now? I can't be quite, no. quite one. No, but they're they're owned by uh, a company in Germany. I mean, what about, like, remember, uh, Go, was it Go Radio? I think Robin Gallery went there. I think. Uh, Pure Radio. Was it Pure, Pure Radio. Pure now, Radio. that's a Scottish company. That's uh, that's DC Thompson's. Right, right. About, 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 about Robin Gallery, is he still floating about? I think so, yes. I think he's, he's still, as the last thing I heard, he was still doing his breakfast show. Very funny, clever man, very good broadcaster. And I and I loved working with him because he used to call me Feather, if you remember, in the mornings. <laughs> and he used to have a tune for Feather. And when I came into the radio station, he would say, Feather's tune, Feather's here. Uh, and we used to break uh, all the rules. Like if the red light was on, you shouldn't really enter a studio. I'd push the door open and shout, Morning! Uh, because it was good. And, and do you know, when we did that handover... The audience spiked right up to the roof. Is that right? Aye, because there was just nonsense being talked. Right. But as I say, that was... And as I say, sometimes people live in the past, but, you know, if you can bring the past back, you know, and have a, a good old state... Well, yes, I mean, to... I can remember when they still had the proper ITV management in at Scott, and they had a meeting about programmes... And they went through all the programs, what needed to be tweaked or changed or whatever. And they got to Scotty McClue at night. And the managing director said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Exactly. You know? exactly. So how long have you, how, how, how long have you been involved in like, the, the radio? Uh, well, I, I, I went into television in 1984. So what's that? Uh, 38 years ago this year. And the radio side of things, I set up a radio station 32 years ago. Uh, that's still on it.